two weeks ago, Donnie's wife, Danielle, came home from work visibly shaken. At first, she was reluctant to tell Donnie what was wrong, but she finally told him what happened, and Donnie was not prepared to hear Danielle tell him what her own stepfather did to her earlier that day. Take a look. Four months ago, my wife and I, we moved in with her mother and her stepfather. My daughter and her husband and my grandbabies needed a place to stay, so I let them come to my house. Danielle and I have two small children. I love my grandbabies being around. My kids, they got to be around their grandma and their grandpa, and they loved it. This guy, Philip, he was very nice, very caring. He cared about our kids a lot, and he cared about us. Philip is the one that gives us rides and back and forth to work. He's been giving her rides seven days a week. Two weeks ago, my wife came home from work, and I was cooking dinner. So when she walked in the door, I asked her, hey, how she was doing and how her day was. The way I knew there was something wrong is because she had her hands over her face, and she was starting to cry. So I asked her what was wrong. She told me that her stepfather, he was masturbating in the car with her right there in the passenger seat. She told him to stop, but he wouldn't. So she got a blanket and put it over her head all the way on the ride home, which is an hour. When she told me this, I could not believe it. She also told me that for the last two months, he's been trying to touch her in her private areas. I was very furious and upset with him. I told her that she needed to let her mother know. And then my daughter came to me and said my husband was inappropriate with her. I asked him, he said she's lying, he, she says he's lying. What am I supposed to believe? I'm going to believe my daughter, but I want to believe my husband too. I'm torn. We were very shocked that Tina completely took her husband's side and did not believe her daughter not one bit. Danielle has a history of lying. She has a history of accusing men of sexual assault. So on top of this, we are all now finding out that he is a sex offender. My husband is a registered sex offender. He got accused of exposing himself to minor children. This was many years ago, and I don't believe he did it. Well, my kids living with Philip, knowing that he's a sex offender, it made us very upset. I believe he's innocent of that too. I will not allow my kids to go anywhere near him. My daughter moved out. I don't even see my grandkids anymore. And I don't know what to do. I need answers. Did you know he was a sex offender before you married him? Yeah. But he explained that he didn't really do it, yeah, right? Yeah, and I gave him the benefit. You gave him the benefit of the doubt. But why wouldn't you tell your, your daughter, who's moving in with your grandchildren, that they're moving into a house with this registered sex offender? I mean, I understand you're giving the benefit of the doubt, but doesn't she have a right to know yeah, she whether to make her own mind, whether she wants to give him the benefit of the doubt? Because these are her children. I'm just overwhelmed and shocked and scared to death. Yeah, because, because, God, are you still on probation? No, sir. Oh, so you're off? Yes. Right, so you're not even on parole or anything? Uh, just got arrested every year. You got arrested every year. And I got to imagine if you get convicted again, that'd be really bad. Yes, it would be. Yeah. Why do you think she's making these uh, accusations against you? I really can't answer that. She's just, just doing it to do it? She just doesn't like you? She wants to harm you? What I just it? said I, that I was done with taking them back and forth to work. So she, she's mad that you won't drive her anymore. So she goes, by the way, he touched my breasts and he pulled out his penis and started masturbating. And then I kept getting the stories and more stories and, and more And she's stories. totally lying about all this. Oh. And then I've gotten stories from... So she's totally lying about this? There's no, I thought you knew. I think I told you. I no. When you're been. married to a registered sex offender, you tell your kids, I'm married to a registered sex offender. When you move in this house, a registered sex offender is going to be there. Not, I thought you knew. That's, you know it. <laughs> and the fact that you know, like, listen, I don't even know this story, right? But I'm a little versed in law, because I was a policeman. And his, 
when he got out, they said, you can't be around children. He's a registered sex offender. You, you allow him either. to break the law with your own grandkids. And I'm, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying that I know this for sure, but I think the fact that you knew and you're allowing him to do it, that you might be breaking some law yourself. <laughs> Your daughter, Danielle, came here to take a lie detector test because she came to me and said, hey, this guy's groping me, exposing himself, and we asked her, did Philip touch your breasts? She answered, yes. Did Philip expose himself to you in his truck? She answered, yes. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Danielle told the truth. So Philip came here, he took a lie detector test, and we asked him, did you intentionally expose your private area to any underage person? He answered no. Regarding that crime you were convicted of, did you do it? He said no. Did you attempt to sexually touch Danielle? He answered no. Did you expose yourself to Danielle when you drove her in your truck? He answered, no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Philip did not tell the truth. <laughs> she comes here and she totally passes her lie detector test. The fact that you totally fail yours I don't know you, I'm not, this is not for TV, this is your results. This is you failing a lie detector test because you're not telling the truth. Why would you blow your whole life up again? I would, I would, I would express so much remorse to that young lady back there and say, you know what, I'm so sorry for what I did, I'm wrong, and I don't want to ever do it again. Honestly, yeah. if that's what it takes, is that what it takes? Yeah, when you're wrong, you have to admit that you're wrong. Did you do it? <laughs> Not intentionally, no. Not intentionally, but you did do it. Right? Right. Because these are serious crimes, and they're taken more seriously now more than ever. And if you don't get help, you are going to rot your life away in prison. And with that, get the hell off my stage. <laughs> You know, a lot of mistakes were made here. Um, none bigger than what Philip has done. But I gotta say, Mom, you contribute a lot to this problem here. I know it. You know, and when, when people are in love, they do make big mistakes. They make mistakes because their love blinds them. But this is your daughter we're talking about. And you can't pick anybody over your children. Whatever you decide when you get back home, what you're going to do with Philip, you do what you need to do, what's ever best for you. But whatever you do decide, because we, we gave you, you know, we got him to admit the truth here, which, <laughs> believe me, is not easy to do. I hope that you'll let us know what you do decide to do so we can let everybody know watching who, who found this story, because this is a powerful story. 
And this probably happens a lot out there. And we want to know whatever happens, whether you decide uh, to let Philip go on his way or if you're going to press charges or whatever, we would definitely like to know when you get home what you decide to do if you contact the show so we can put this at the end of, at of, the, end of the show, okay? Right Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Good luck. Do you like what you see? All new episodes are coming and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now. Thank <laughs> you.